Over the past two decades, there's been a revolution in vegetal biology. Science now shows that plants appear to be sentient beings. They perceive light, smell, touch, water, and many more variables than we do. They can learn, remember, and communicate. They exhibit the traits that we associate with personhood. Experimental science has confirmed that plants can see, can see when you're standing next to them and the color of your shirt. They don't have eyes, but they have the same photoreceptor proteins all over their bodies that humans have at the back of the retina. Plants don't have brains, but they translate information into electrical chemical signals in their cells identical to the ones used by our own neurons. A plant may not have a brain, but it acts like a brain, says Narby. The word neuron comes from the Greek for vegetal fiber. Neurons actually look like the cut of the inside of a plant. Research over the past 30 years has illuminated a profound intelligence throughout nature. Dolphins and many other animals recognize themselves in a mirror, long a scientific measure of intelligence. Pigeons have better memory for paintings than do college students. <laughs> Sheep have better memory of human faces than humans have. Bees that are invertebrates with brains the size of a grain of sugar can consistently process abstract concepts in tests that require perceiving sameness and difference. It's true. But you gotta give it up for slime molds. In every single test, these single-celled, brainless, mucus-like blobs that can reach the size of a human hand perfectly solve mazes, another measure of intelligence. Slime molds are so expert at setting up intelligent tubing networks that biomimetic researchers are studying them to successfully design solutions to traffic problems and pipeline architecture. <laughs> 